Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shai and this is a pumpkin patch. I have two girls ages 9 and 4. Uh, on my channel, I share about our experience as a homeschooling family on a single income in a small space. My main goal of this channel is simply to get help get curriculum and resource reviews out there, especially for reviews for various things we use that are hard time finding myself. So today I'm going to talk about my one of my third graders core math curriculum, which is the Math Medical Reasoning Level D. It's our grade 3. It can be used as a complete or supplemental resource. Uh, we pair math, medical reasoning with math mammoth, uh, just to add in color and fun from math, medical reasoning. I'm not sure yet if these are really solid to be used as a full curriculum all the way through each level, but for the younger levels, I think they're really great. Um, Mathematical reasoning is by the Critical Thinking Co. Uh, level D is about $43 on their site, though we got a copy for about 20 bucks and a very good used condition on Amazon Marketplace. It didn't have anything wrong with it. Uh, it was just like a buyer's return copy. Uh, so I highly suggest checking out the Amazon Marketplace or other online sites for used like new curriculum to help save some money. Just for the price alone, if you can find cheaper like new copies, I think this is a really nicely done um, full math curriculum. Um, these color sections you see here on the edges don't mean anything. That's just to add to the color. So there's not like chapters or sections to follow. Um, we just started at the beginning and had been doing just four pages a day, but we cut it down to two pages uh, when we got our Math Mammoth curriculum. We had a rocky start for our first year and couldn't get any of the curriculum we wanted to use until the beginning of 2018, when, which was halfway through our year because we started in July of 2018. So that's why she's on page 152 and barely halfway through the book. Uh, but that's not a big deal because we homeschool year-round anyway and we'll just continue working through it after a three-week summer break and into a fourth grade year. That also just gives me time to save up for level E. which we, So we plan to use this curriculum all the way uh, as far as we can for both of my girls. Um, they have beginnings 1 and 2 for pre-K. Uh, levels and then level A is grade 1 and up to level G for grade 6. Then for 7th through 9th grade they have understanding geometry, algebra, they have different supplements and they also have an understanding pre-algebra one which isn't listed there. Uh, mathematical reasoning uses the NCTM standards. I'll have a link to explain more about those uh, down in the description block, box. Um, the standards pretty much are numbers and operations, algebra, geometry, measurement, data analysis, and probability. And the work for level D, they go through a whole ton of skills from adding whole numbers and analyze, angles, area, bar graph, calendar, capacity, congruence, coordinate system, count, data collection, decimals, defining whole numbers, Equations, equivalence, estimation, expanded notation, fractions, graph, inequalities, length, likelihood and prediction, line graph, money, multiplying whole numbers, um, order, parallels, patterns, perimeter, perpendicular, place values, polygons, properties, rounding, rotation, rotation translation, reflection, shapes, subtracting whole numbers, surveying, symmetry, or symmetry, tables, um, and Temperature, time, variables, vocabulary, weight, word form, and word problems. And then, should you want to use this as a supplemental resource, they list page numbers for each of these skills and what operations, or standards, rather, that they go under. So should you want to jump around instead of work page by page, that'd be extremely helpful. Uh, over here it talks about, uh, how to, about the book, how to use it, and teaching suggestions. Um, it takes a spiral approach throughout the book, uh, meaning it introduced and covered a topic for a few pages and then a gap before it covers again. They do that so that students have multiple opportunities to apply the skill or concept. Uh, they suggest working page by page, and they also m mention that students that have worked in previous mathematical reasoning books are likely to find them th this level challenging, but not too challenging. And for students just jumping right in without previous exposure, we'll find it challenging um, so we'll be able to catch up and benefit from using this book anyway. Starting at the beginning um, are simpler number and operation skills, which will tell you which standard they're working on in the upper right corner. Um, they start out simple to ease kids into everything. Uh, 
using easier, probably more well-known skills. Uh, each page is full color and the content is rather large, um, but the lessons are short, so it doesn't look overwhel like a ton of overwhelming work to do. Most pages are different with a few scattered similar activities, but that really helps avoid monotony that some other math curriculums have. Uh, it doesn't take very long to introduce new topics. So here's still numbers and operations, but then here's working on geometry, and then right into money. Uh, numbers and operations again. And here's algebra. I think it's really great that they start basic ideas and concepts in algebra early like this because then it just gets them more comfortable for when they really get into it, like in the upper grades and middle school and such. Uh, measurement, data analysis and probability, more geometry, when gets into time. Uh, they got patterns, doing three digit subtraction. Uh, and this is like when they come up with uh, vocabulary words, they're bolded in different colors. Uh, and they give different, um, in some pages they give different like, meanings, like subtraction, less than, or um, like what is the difference, like those kind of words to help um, when they get into word problems and such. Uh, here's multiplication. Uh, the instructions for each page are clear and easily understandable, and like I said, I like it that it teaches the math vocabulary. Um, my daughter works in this independently, and when she's done, I'll just look it over and make sure she's understood what, understood what she uh, was working on. Uh, the back has full answer key, uh, if you don't want to sit there and correct everything yourself, so this is pretty helpful for me to save time. Here's more measurement. Uh, they have different books that they have, the Critical Thinking Company, like these mind benders. They have like examples, not examples, or samples, I guess, uh, also incorporated into this to help. Maybe if you wanted more um, activities like this, you could get separate books or workbooks uh, to use uh, for just thinking skills like that. Here's plotting. I don't remember doing this until like middle school, but this is third grade and they're already doing it. So it's pretty cool. They start out with things like that on this level already. Uh, intersecting lines, parallel lines, right angles, more plotting. Uh, and this workbook goes through, oh, there's calendar stuff, if they're a little rusty on that. Um, this book goes to 349 pages. So they're pretty thick workbooks. Um, 3D solid figures. Writing out word or numbers, big numbers, uh, patterns, skip counting uh, to help with those math facts. It's great. Uh, graphs, We're breaking numbers up into their place values. more algebra related stuff using symbols yeah so overall I think it's a pretty 
solid curriculum. Like, it, there's so many topics, and, like, in a clear, understanding way uh, for the kids. It's not overwhelming. Um, like I said, we only do two pages a day right now. But you can do more, you can do less, however you want to do it. Uh, starting with decimals now, here at the end. I may have started earlier, but I'm skipping over chunks of paper, or pages. Speaking of paper, the paper is pretty thick. It's not, like, thin, easily torn. Um, and it's good for writing on. So if you wanted to keep it all in the book or um, whatnot. But speaking of that, also, if you wanted to take these answer keys out of here, it'd be kind of, might be a pain to get out of there. But even so, uh, yeah. So that's Mathematical Reasoning Level D. Um, that's about all I wanted to say about it. I just wanted to show you what was in it and how we were using it in our homeschool. Um, I think Critical Thinking Co. did a really job, amazing job putting the workbooks together. I like their colorfulness and different kinds of pages. Uh, just not, or just how it's not a traditional black and white boringness or a bunch of drill work. Uh, my daughter loves working in it and that's really a big variable when it comes to picking out curriculum. Uh, I'm happy we found it and I hope I've helped you see what Level D is about a little bit. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please post them below. And if you'd like to see more curriculum reviews, please like the video, subscribe, and click the bell to get notifications for new videos from my, cha from my channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.